Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Now I've already told you guys I'm trying to get my workstation together and today I have another piece to add to the mystery of what I'm going to be doing for my setup. Today I have a BenQ 2460HT monitor. Now this bad boy is 24 inches of greatness. Check it out. The reason why I got this monitor is because I use Elgato Gaming Capture HD 60s, but sometimes I feel like when I'm playing my game, I feel like I'm either lagging or my buttons aren't responding fast enough, and with this bad boy, I have HDMI pass through, so I'm able to play on my monitor and record from the monitor instead of from the console. So I'm going to unbox this bad boy, I'm going to go over all the specs, I'm going to tell you guys where you can get your own all of that links will be in the description trust and believe that i might even splash a couple annotations on the screen you never know but uh let's open her up all right so first of all this right here is a challenge this thing is husky now this probably is the biggest package no this isn't the biggest package the chair i'm sitting in is the biggest package i've ever unboxed but this is definitely the second biggest believe that now uh let's see open her up ah. real i got i gotta back up just to open this thing almost stabbed myself in the chest just now let's see all right let me put this down what do we have here okay we got the gaming and details it comes with a disc that you may have to install somewhere let's see LCD monitor, user manual, drivers, Acrobat reader, and display pilot. Cool. Now, uh, let's see what we have in this book, man. Before we uh, hop into this goddamn monitor, let's see what we have here. Okay, it's just telling me the box contents. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm going to have to put this thing together. It looks like they got a nice little swivel and pivot thing to this bad boy. I don't know if you guys can see the pictures, but it's looking pretty good, pretty good. But uh, yeah, this is basically my uh, put together book. Everybody knows how terrible I am about uh, putting things together. But, you know, why not try? All right, first thing I grab is the base. The base is pretty heavy. I'm just gonna set that right there. I'm gonna throw that on the ground. Looks like we have a power cord, ladies and gentlemen. That right there, throw this on the floor. And what is this? If that's the power cord, then what do we got here? Let's see. All right, this is, okay, cool. This is the display port uh, cable. So this would be if I will hook it up most likely to like a computer or something like that. But this is going to be hooked up to my PS4. I'm not going to hook this up to a computer. And we have another one. Uh, I guess another. I think this is what? The DVI? Hold on. Let me check. Let me see this little guy thing. See the box contents. Yeah, DVI cable and D-sub cable. Okay, cool. Word. All right. All right. Anything else? Not from there. Okay, we can top, take this top part off. Ooh. All right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, y'all. I know what y'all came here to see. I know, I know what y'all came here to see. Y'all came here to see this monitor. I don't know. So, first off, the monitor comes in the pivot view. Let me see. All right, I'm going to just hold this up real quick. It's pretty heavy, but... I'm strong, if you if you know what I mean. So uh, we can kind of throw that box down. Not gonna need that, but uh, it comes in pivot form. So uh, all I gotta do is hook up the base and uh, plug her in, and we should be good to go. Um, let's see what's right in here. Uh, LED or 2460HT gaming is in the details. Professional monitor, HDMI output, fighting mode, game mode loader. Height adjustment scale, one millisecond response time, black equalizer, okay. HDMI output for fighting, okay, let's see. Let's check out the ports real fast. All right, so we have the 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Check it out. We have the DVI port. What else we got? The DVI sub port. HDMI 1, 2, and output. And we have the headphones, the line in, and of course the power. So uh, everything is at the bottom, but with this little pivot mode, you can plug in everything and I guess just turn it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. It's no click or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. So let's see. Just do it like that. Um, I heard it had a swivel thing to it, but I guess that's with the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the base on real fast. Let's see what we got. Right. Now you can easily put the base on for anybody who's purchasing this. this check it out. If you purchase it, see this, you can just turn it. You don't even need a flathead. And then it comes with a little handle joint. So you just screw that on, make it as tight as you want. Alright. Alright, and the whole swivel aspect is like this. So I'm gonna set this here. I know it's kind of close, but see if I can All right. so basically you can turn it whichever way you want like this is this is it on the table all right so uh, and then I heard that you can kind of like tilt it up and tilt it down so it definitely has a great range of motion and I heard that you can make it taller so let me see if I can figure out that let's see I think it said it's highest okay so all you have to do is push down on the monitor and it will go to its lowest point and you just push up on it and it'll go to its highest point. So watch my fingers and see it go down to its lowest point. So uh, that right there is the unboxing of the monitor. What I'm actually going to be doing right now is plugging everything up. I'm going to take a video shot of it plugged in with my HDMI cords, with my uh, Elgato HD60. And I'm going to, you know, show you guys what it looks like. Be right back.